It's happening again. Guess it is. Let's do this. If you guys watched my video last week, then you guys know that I had a birthday party in which I served up pizza. Um, you would know this because it was a confessional video and people confessed that I had the best pizza ever. So I'm going to show you how to make set pizza. So you just need a couple of ingredients. Most of them are going to be of your own choosing. But the bases, I think there's only two things that you need that every pizza needs. Pizza dough. The other thing is pizza sauce. I like the authentic flavor. Whatever that means. Authentic pizza sauce is my favorite. Outside of those two ingredients, use whatever you want. Um, for the sake of this video, I use the following. Basil, mozzarella cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, minced garlic, mushrooms, a lemon, and because my friends are so awesome, a toasted onion and garlic dip mix, which I'm just gonna try and get creative with. You will also need a pizza tray baking sheet thingy. So the first step is simple. Obviously, roll out your dough. But we are not going to use a rolling pin. We're gonna use our bare hands. So, obviously, we need to flour the place in which we are going to make pizza. Does it say the weight of this thing? 550 grams of pizza dough will make like three little min miniature pizzas. Oh yeah, we're making miniature pizzas, we're not making big pizzas. Beaver tail. I don't know if that's a Canadian thing if you have that in the States or in the UK or anywhere else in the world. But beaver tails, that's the thing we have here in Canada. And I'm not talking about actual beaver, it's like uh, dessert. And then just lay that on the um, the baking sheet. There's obviously space for two, so I'm gonna make two. There you go. So once you have your dough laid out, now I'm gonna put the toppings on the dough. Pizza sauce, obviously. The great thing about pizza is you can't go wrong. Put whatever you want on it. Boom, it already looks like pizza. Now I'm gonna put cheese. I don't like to shred my cheese because that looks so basic. I like to just slice my mozzarella. One, two, let's move that one down a little bit. Three, boom, three pieces of mozzarella. All right, I'm gonna put basil, this one as well. Because I'm feeling fancy, I don't want regular tomatoes, I'm gonna get sun-dried tomatoes. Throw that on there. So for pizza number two, I'm gonna do the mozzarella slices again. One, two, three, and one more, four. I'm going to add mushrooms to this one. One, two, three, four. Four just seems like a really good number for this size. Garlic. Just use your hands for everything. There you go. This is technically for a dip mix, but because this is a creative cooking episode, we're gonna put it on pizza. Sprinkle that the dryness on there. Boom, check it out. Pizza number two. Pizza number one. Pizza number two. Pizza number one. Pizza number two. So I set the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which I have no idea what it is in Celsius. Calculate that for me. Leave that in the comments below, because why not? It's fine. Throw it in there, leave it in there for maybe like 15 minutes. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I pull it out when the crust is cooked and soft, but not crispy. Now we wait approximately 15 to 20 minutes, in which time I'm gonna clean this up because you guys know how I feel about a kitchen. It's gotta be clean. I mean, again, this looks like drugs. If my roommate is to walk in here, he's gonna think this is this is drugs, and it's not drugs. Let's clean it up. Okay, cool. So we still have about. 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna turn the camera off and I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Eventually. Boom, pizza dough. I'm just gonna throw them on here right now. They're best served hot and fresh, so let's cut them up. So it's pizza number one, 
That's pizza number two. I'm curious, guys. Comment below and let me know. Do you guys prefer the mozzarella, basil, and sun-dried tomato? Or the mozzarella, mushroom, garlic, and that herb? Number one, number two. Number one, number two. I love serving olives with pizza. I love eating olives in general. So, we're going to throw some olives on the side here. Just some like crumbled feta. Let's totally go right there. And because we used garlic on one of our pizzas, lemon is always a fun choice. You know what else is a lot of fun that maybe I should add is um, pepper flakes. Pepper flakes all along the side here. There it is, your pizza dish. Let's see, there it goes. That's pizza number one. That's pizza number two. Display is always everything. You guys can't really see it, but there it is. Maybe I'll take a picture or something for you. Ah! Add lemon juice, which is kind of funny to add to a pizza, but if you squeeze on lemon juice to the um, pizza that has the garlic, it cuts through the, um, the garlic flavor. The lemon juice also gives kind of like a refreshing flavor to the pizza. This is amazing. It actually sounds like I know what I'm talking about. So let's try pizza number one first. So outside of it completely burning my taste buds, taste buds, it's delicious. I like the sun-dried tomato. Pizza number two. This one's very garlicky. Can you smell it? If you guys, like I said, have seen confessional from last week, everyone was raving about the pizza, so it's gonna tell you. Fucking awesome. So that's it, you guys. I'm gonna leave it there for you. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. So until next week, happy eats. Add olive oil to your pizza. It's just it's a fun little taste.